Hey, what is going on everyone? This is your boy to V-Side, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons as all your support really helps me remain motivated to continue making a variety of different type of videos on this channel, mostly covering cricket for the time being as we are at the prime of cricketing season. And it would also help this channel grow and help a legally blind YouTube content creator remain motivated to continue doing what he's doing on this channel. Now, yeah, um, it's not going to get better than this. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the second ODI between Bangladesh and Zimbabwe. If Bangladesh are not trying, I'm not even going to bother making the bed. Even making the bed, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to sit in front of a camera, scream into the awful camera microphone, and give you my review, you know, based on the audio commentary and the highlights. Okay? Believe me, I wanted to do a video where, like, you can only see the top part of my head. Because apparently Bangladesh, that's what they love to do. They love keeping it short. Okay, so I'll have a very short angle at which I'm looking at the camera. Okay. Once again, the batting didn't let us down. The batting was all right. 290 for three, you know, you know, 290 for nine. Like, yeah, we fell a few runs short, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Okay. Yeah, uh, like, you know, Afif was saying... Maybe he should be batting instead of Nathbar Hussain uh, tomorrow of the order. Um, what else? The, you know, Mahmoud Allah, I, I, I'm not blaming, blaming him for his 80 ball 84. Okay? Overall, Zimbabwe bowled better. Okay? Zimbabwe, yes, Zimbabwe bowled better with their five changes. Zimbabwe bowled better. Okay, now, first of all, I'll have to give the congratulations first. Congratulations to Sikandar Raza for back-to-back -back centuries. Congratulations to Regis Takafa for his maiden ODI century. And congratulations to Zimbabwe for this series victory. Okay? I really... And I'm not... I'm not kidding. I really hope Zimbabwe cricket prospers from this point. Because we need teams like Zimbabwe to prosper for the overall health of world cricket to improve. Okay, especially in ODIs, given all the talks surrounding ODIs right now. Okay, so that's the fame part of the review, okay? Couldn't be happier for Zimbabwe. Because I always thought that they had the potential and like, you know, they, they somehow didn't deliver. Like, you had people like, you know, Vusi Zibanda, like, you know, he, he fell off. Charles Coventry, he fell off after scoring 194. Okay, Brian Vittori, he fell off. Yes, I remember those names. Okay, Prosper uh, yeah, uh, uh, bowling action um, and, and, and whatnot. You know, Brandon Taylor, Hamilton, Masakarsa, they did what they could, you know, to hold on. And like, you know, the rumors are that Brandon Taylor, um, he was forced to go into match fixing because... The cricket Zimbabwe wouldn't pay him. He can't play for free. He has bills to pay too. How is he supposed to play cricket when the cricket board are not paying him? And this is one of the few instances where I don't think, uh, you know, you know, uh, Brandon Taylor should be banned for life. No, he should not. Because you need to get paid if your board are not paying you. You will find a way to make money. You can't just say that, oh, okay, instead of, like, you know, taking this uh, bribe money, I would rather have me and my family starve to death. Yeah, and, and, and play cricket at the same time. No match fee, nothing. Like, you know, I'd rather have me and my family starve to death. But I will not take the bribe money. Yeah. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. Real life doesn't work that way. Okay? So... In certain cases like that, I think an exception should be made. Not in cases like Ashraful, okay? Not in cases like Ashraful. No. Ashraful, he got the punishment, you know, like, you know, you know what was deserved. But anyways, getting back to this. How many times, Bangladesh, how many times will you bowl short balls? Didn't you see the very beginning, okay? You got wicked when there was movement. Pitch the ball up in a good line and length and move the ball. You will get the wickets. But no. After that, after Sikandar Raza came in, short ball after short ball after short ball after short ball. They basically pulled 
both of them, like you know, for the most part, they pull their ways to you know, you know, to uh, twin centuries. Okay, and like you know, the spinners and they came on like bad delivery, bad delivery, you know, bad delivery. I'm like, what's going on, man? What's going on? What's that guy's name? Uh, Lance Klusner. No, no, not Lance Klusner. Uh, Bangladesh's bowling coach, White Lightnings. So, like Alan Donald or something. What are you doing? Like, is it your idea to continue having, uh, you know, Tafkin and Shoriful bowl short? And man, Shoriful Islam, what happened to you, man? What happened to you? Why are you bowling so horribly? What happened? Like five or six months ago, this wasn't the Shoriful Islam that I've seen. Hassan Mahmoud, you know, you know, made a good comeback. Maybe you know what gave Shoriful Islam a break because they brought in Ibadat Hussain. You know, give Ibadat Hussain a chance. We like, we have nothing else left to lose. Okay, at least Mehdi Hassan Miraz got a wicket or two. At least like you know Tajul Islam got a wicket or two. But yeah. Apart from that, like, this is just poor cricket all around, especially the bowling from Bangladesh. There's nothing else left to review here. Bangladesh handed Zimbabwe this match with their, with their awful, awful bowling. It's not like Zimbabwe didn't have to work for it. Yeah, I mean, even as it does a bad ball, you have to work, you have to work to put it away. Okay. And you know what, Russell Domingo, he said something right, like, you know, after the after the match. Like, how come Bangladesh, like, you know, none of them are getting centuries? We only have a bunch of 50s. How come none of them are getting centuries? Animal Hawk, he was very unlucky how he got out. Okay, I'll, I'll give, I'll, I will give him this. He was very unlucky how he got out. He was looking, you know, good enough. But, come on, man. Th this is onyx. Unacceptable, man. Unacceptable from, you know, you know, from Bangladesh. There is one more ODI. I checked the schedule. As of right now, one more ODI left for Bangladesh in the entire year. After this, Tamil Miguel goes into, you know, goes into vacation mode. Okay, if he doesn't decide to come back in, in, in T20s. And yeah, given this performance, maybe Nazmul Hassan Papun, have a word with him. They're like, you know, you want to... You want to focus on ODIs to retire from T20s. I'm like, this is what you call focus? Like, you know, you're... Well, in two matches, you are not the highest scoring batter. You scored half centuries and then you got out. You call this, you call this improving your pro, your, your, your focus on ODIs after retiring from T20s? Yeah, maybe Nazmul Hassan Papun have a have a word with him. Like, if you think if you think like you know the players are not bigger than the board, yeah, now is the time. Have the board flex their muscles. Um, have the board flex their muscles and, and say like you know, okay, we've given you too much leeway. Okay, we've given you too much leeway. Even if you're the captain, doesn't mean you're gonna get away with it. Because honestly, this is this is beyond shameful for for Bangladesh, because. Listen, had they won by, let's say, a wicket or two wickets or even three wickets, that would have been a bit more acceptable. But the way they lost the match, you know, you know, with their awful, awful bowling, okay, that is, I have no other words to say except shame on Bangladesh. Shame on Bangladesh. One more ODI left on the 10th. Like, 3-0 is imminent. Ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 is imminent. And Tamil Mikbal is on the verge of perhaps being one of the first captains in perhaps close to 20 years to be whitewashed. Whitewashed by Zimbabwe. Okay? Shame on Bangladesh for this performance. Hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons. It's your boy, Tamir Sa, the Bengal Dragon, signing out.